welcome back to my channel today we're doing a very interesting and different type of video today we are doing a collab video with Essie Essie who is a Kenyan youtuber yes we're going to be doing a YouTube video all about nursing in America versus nursing in Kenya you guys do not want to miss this I'm so grateful and thankful and honored for her to reaching out to wanting to do this video with little old me with only 500 subscribers shout out to you guys who keep subscribing if you haven't subscribed press that right bright red subscribe button but yes so let's get into this video <laughs> in Kenya. I work with the general surgery department and today in collaboration with, with Nurse Katiana who is in the US we are going to talk about frequently asked questions in nursing and we're going to compare nursing in the US and nursing in Kenya. I hope you're going to enjoy this video. RN, I was an LPN which is a licensed practical nurse which is a technical nurse um, for three years, I worked nursing home, I worked independent living, I did home health, and that was for three years. And then in November 2019, I went and I took my NCLEX for my RN, and I passed. And now I work in the hospital on the cardiac unit with cardiac patients. So the type of things I do on my floor is cardiac related so I deal with procedures cardiac casts I deal with open heart I deal with people who faint a lot because a lot of the times people that faint something going on with your heart so we put them on drips or we have to do orthostatic hypertension what kind of things do you do as a registered nurse do different things depending on the department you are working in for example if you're working at an outpatient department we usually give injections we do wound cleaning and dressing we do we give health talks to the patients we triage if we're working in the world we have bed making we have treatment we have assisted feeding and all that so for us here, most of the hospitals don't have nurse aides, so we do all the things on our own by ourselves, which is quite overwhelming. The nurse to patient ratio, so we usually have very many patients. Nurse to patient ratio is a challenge here in our country. And uh, for example, our ward has 50 patients, and we only have three or four nurses per shift. So it's a very, very big challenge. 50 patients and four nurses my ratio i have got a lot of controversy over my ratio my ratio is eight to one i know i know it's crazy i know it's crazy um a lot of hospitals don't do that i know but this is florida and these are florida rules and my hospital happens to be eight to one i can't fight it like that's how it's been for a while so I understand eight to one is a lot. It's in the back of my mind, guys. Does my employer cover medical? Yes, my employer cover medical. Uh, they cover a lot of my medical expenses. They cover my medical, my eye insurance, and that's it, I believe. So they take that automatically out of each check each month, and that's how that works. It's really not a lot. Maybe they take like six dollars or ten dollars each check i really don't look to see how much it is honestly guys <laughs> i'm not gonna lie to you right now but it's not a lot they take it out your check and you have health insurance does the employer cutter for your medical insurance yes they do cutter for our medical insurances but unfortunately you only have to go to the same hospital you can't go to another hospital but they'll cover they'll cut up for you and your family averagely we make around uh, let me say that uh, uh, we, we earn per month we earn around thirty thousand to maybe let me say three hundred thousand depending on working experience and where you're working depending on your employer but per year let me say 1.2 to 2 million no yeah averagely 1.2 that is maybe for 
the the best institution and that is for starters I don't know. in the u.s supposedly supposedly nurses in the u.s make 75k again these numbers can increase or decrease based on your specialty based on how long you've been a nurse based on what state you work in for example florida makes 65k supposedly um and yeah if you have my new grad residency video how much i get paid you need to watch that because that will help to open your eyes a little bit on the range that people in florida make but yeah it does say people in florida make 65k i feel like that's not enough but again it does range from experience because i actually saw that people or regular nurses can make up to 100k as well so it just depends on your specialty how long you've been a nurse where you're working what state all those things come into play so it's flexible tell me does your salary increase with your working experience yes it does after after maybe a certain period of time maybe a year two years or three years your salary will increase it does increase with experience i know a lot of pool nurses which are just like PRN which is per diem or as needed nurses and they get paid a lot more than us regular floor nurses because they're on call. I also know traveler nurses do get paid a lot more at my hospital as well so those are some of the opportunities that you have to make more money and also like you kind of just got to follow where it goes. Sometimes nurses will follow the strikes and where the strikes are they'll go and work for them while the nurses are on strike and they make a lot of money right now with this uh covid going on there's a lot of travel nurses making like 10k a week so you just kind of gotta follow the trend wherever it's going right now like where's making the most you have to go there so how long do you renew your licenses and how much do they cost we renew our licenses yearly and uh, we are we usually we are usually charged 1500 like mine uh, i renewed it in december 2019 uh, next uh, renewal will be in december 2020 and you can do it online or you can go physically to the nursing council offices and renew your license so the next question is license renewal. So it definitely varies. I saw online that you have to first do your CEUs, which is like online courses that you have to take to update your knowledge. And then it varies on your expiration date. For example, I passed on October 21st, 2019 and mine expires april 30th 2021 so typically it's like two years depends on if you do it on an even or an odd year since i did mine on an odd year i have to renew it on an odd year if you did it on an even year you have to do it on an even year but it's typically about two years and it costs 75 dollars if you have an active license so yeah i hope you guys like this video a lot um i really enjoyed making this video thank you again scsc for even wanting to do this video with me i really love you and appreciate you i hope you guys enjoyed this video subscribe for more videos and i will see you next time